This is a microscopic view of a tiny moss leaf. Just like the onion tissue, it's one cell thick. Each cell is packed full of chloroplasts. They contain chlorophyll, a green pigment which gives plants their colour. If a cell has many chloroplasts, its main purpose is to photosynthesize. In a plant like this, the cells in the roots, the stems and the leaves all have different jobs to do. The surface of a leaf is dotted with holes, known as stomata. The cells either side change the size of the hole to control the loss of water. Leaves also have hair cells for protection. They help prevent insects from landing and attacking the plant. This leaf hair is just one cell big. Roots have hairs too. These are vital for the plant to absorb minerals. The many hair cells on this single root increase its surface area, making it easier to absorb nutrients. The stem transports water and minerals to the leaves through long tubes called xylem. These are particularly obvious in celery. Place a few stems into a dye and the leaves and xylem turn blue. Xylem are reinforced tubes. Under an electron microscope, their thickened cell walls look like coiled springs.